The orcs would have let us live. Now Zardus will send even more of them after us. You need to go to Reduk. What has Zardus got to do with the orcs? What's wrong with you? Haven't you been here these last few weeks? Zardus is the leader of the orcs. He betrayed us. What else do you know about Zardus? He destroyed the rune magic, that filthy Dang, swine. Deprived of their magic, paladins and fire mages never stood a chance against the hordes of orcs. What's in Reddick? The rebel camp. It's in the middle of the forest, where the wolves are. I can handle wolves. Yes, but those beasts are awfully aggressive, and you won't be able to find it by yourself. I think your buddy Gorn knows where it is. You should go talk to him. What should I tell the rebels? Tell their leaders to send us fighters. We don't stand a chance by ourselves. Now we're also in it up to our necks.
perfect hiding place. Just like old times, huh? The orcs weren't all that strong. There must be other tougher ones. What about Lester? Wasn't he going to get some reinforcements? <laughs> Another fine mess we've got ourselves into. What happened here? Quite obviously, the orcs have won their war against King Robar. And now the orcs are sweeping through the land, enslaving the humans. But most of all, I would like to know what happened to Lester. I can't help it. I don't like orcs. What's going on with Lester? He was going to get reinforcements. My runes have lost their power. I don't think it's any different for the other fire mages. I'm going to set out and try to learn the ancient true magic. What are you talking about? Before there were runes, only a very few, very powerful people could do magic. That knowledge must be found somewhere. I will seek it. I'll come with you. We should search separately. You find Zardis. If anyone knows about magic, he will. We will meet again. I'm sure of it. So good luck. Do you really think? I don't think about it. You should know that. As if it were so easy. I already know that. Interesting. Starting over. Nothing more to be had there. I cannot create anything at the moment. Here it says something about alchemy. Nothing more to be had there. There's nothing new here. Enos, grant me the power of your blessing. Grant me mastery over fire. Grant me life force. Grant me magic power. Grant me endurance.
In the beginning, the nomads roamed the land, and the eternal wanderer led the way. Nothing more to be had there. Nothing to be had. to take a break. I'm sure you must have more important things to do. Bad news! There will be no reinforcements! So I noticed. What happened? Go look for the ship. You're not gonna find it. What? Pirates! It was all over in a moment. And what about our equipment? What do you think? We'll have to get some new stuff. Talk to Diego. He knows a lot about acquiring things. What are you going to do now? I'm going to try and make it to the south somehow. But we'll meet again, surely. I should think so.
themselves themselves. What's up? Pirates. Those rotten bastards made off with our treasure. Looks like it. We'll have to deal with that later, I'm afraid. You see, we have a problem. What problem? Go talk to the village elder. I had a talk with the village elder. So, what do you suggest? First, we need to get an overview of the mess the orcs have been making. And one of us must find out where Zardas is hiding. The necromancer has absorbed the power of Beliar within himself. And he is master of the orcs. I think you'd better take care of Zardas. And where will we get new equipment now? But you know how this works. Collect whatever you can find. And don't let anyone take it from you. And since the orcs are now the rulers of Mertana, we will get some fine equipment from them. What are you going to do now? You know me. I'll be wherever there's something to be had. Matena is now orc territory. But kissing up to orcs just isn't my thing. I will go south. I bet there are some opportunities left in the vastness of the desert. You can set out with Gorn. What are you going to do now? I will go search for the rebels. I bet they're not all dead yet. Show me where the rebels are hiding. It's not far from here. Follow me. I don't have a problem with that. That's just gonna cause more trouble. So much for you, filthy beast. So much for you, filthy beast. Ah! 
Well, that takes care of that. See? Here they are. I knew it. I really hope the orcs never find this hideout. I'll stay here for a while, and then be on my way. Hang in there. See you around. You don't look like a woodcutter. I think your place is with the warriors down in the cave. How's it going? Uh, not so good. We were chased away from our post by aggressive wild boars. I already told the warriors, but they only think about fighting the orcs. If those beasts don't disappear soon, we won't be able to keep working. The aggressive wild boars are dead. You can go back to work. <laughs> Finally, one of you who worries about our problems. Thanks, warrior. Here is my gold. Be very careful when roaming through the woods here. Orc scouts are everywhere in this region. I come from Ardea. We drove the orcs from the village. Talk to Javier. He already knows about it. One of our scouts saw everything. Javier is down below, in the cavern. Tell me more about this place. This is the largest rebel camp on the coast. We call it Renok. Many royalists who haven't yet been enslaved by the orcs are hiding here. I really hope for your sake that you aren't a spy for the orcs, or we'll make short work of you. I see. The orcs don't know about this rebel camp? If the orcs knew we were hiding out here, they would have certainly killed us by now. Tell me more about the rebels. We are the only free humans in Mertana who are still fighting the orcs. Orc patrols are our biggest problem here on the coast. Last night, they came dangerously close. Where are the orc patrols now? One orc patrol is constantly on the move. Right now they are between us and Ardea. Another has parked itself on a farm to the east. Between here and Cape Dunn, if we don't take care of them now, they will stumble upon Redek sooner or later. What about the humans working for the orcs? Most of them are slaves. But there are some human orc mercenaries as well. Within certain limits, they are allowed to move freely among the orcs. I can only hope you're not going to mingle with them. Why should I avoid the orc mercenaries? People who team up with the enemy are the enemy. The path of the orc mercenary is the easy way, with no freedom, and against Enos, our god. I will go visit the orc patrol on the farm. Be careful. If they take you for a rebel, they will chop you to pieces. I'll take care of the roaming orc patrol. Do that. But be careful so they don't find our camp here. Show me your goods. I'm busy.
too hard. That, hmm, no. cause any trouble here. Got it? What? Oh, yes. I, uh, I am a bit jumpy. I'm sorry. What can I do for you? Who are you? My name is Sebastian. I am the alchemist here in Red Oak. You wear the clothes of a fire mage. Before the war, I was a high mage of the fire. Then came the day when we fire mages lost our rune magic. And soon after that, the war was over. The robe is all I have left of my rank. Why did you fire mages lose your magic? I have spent many sleepless nights trying to answer that question. All I know is that we could no longer hold off the orcs without our rune magic. Many fire mages were killed. And those that survived the debacle fled to the woods. What will you do now? I will stay here in Redduck and study the ancient writings of our ancestors. Legend has it that the Ancient Ones possessed their own kind of magic. It was completely independent of aids such as the runes, from which we draw our magic. Tell me more about the magic of the Ancient Ones. All that is certain is that the Ancient Ones existed and that their artifacts can be found everywhere in the ruins. Even today, the only way to learn more about their magic is to unravel the mystery of those ruins. All the surviving fire mages are researching the ancient knowledge. Tell me more about the artifacts of the Ancient Ones. The orcs are obsessed with searching for these valuable relics. Every dealer in the land knows that and will offer you a correspondingly high price. Many artifacts are of great value to us mages as well, such as the fire chalices, for example. What is so special about the fire chalices? The fire chalices are ancient, and were thought to have been lost for many years. It is said that they possess powerful magical capabilities, but I am no expert. If you should find a fire chalice, take it to my brethren in Nordmar. They will be able to tell you more about it than I can. 
Tell me something about alchemy. It is the only way of healing and strengthening yourself without magic. I am no expert, but my abilities are enough to supply Red Ark with what is absolutely necessary. Teach me what you know about alchemy. I would gladly do that. But unfortunately, I don't have enough ingredients to teach you. If you can get me ten healing plants, I will share my knowledge with you. I'll get you some healing plants. These plants grow almost everywhere. I don't think you will have a problem finding them. Here are your ten healing plants. Wonderful. Now, I can share my knowledge with you. Teach me something about ancient magic. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me your goods. Welcome, stranger. What can I do for you? Do you need food, clothes, or maybe a hefty swig from the bottle? Marlo will sell you everything you need here on the coast. Who are you? I am Marlo. I am the best merchant on the coast from Ardea all the way to Cape Dunn. What interests me most are valuable items. Items such as silver, gold, and jewels. I take everything. What do you do with the junk? I know ways to convert the stuff into shiny coins, and we need them. So you're supporting a good cause when you bring me the stuff. Where do you get your goods? We have people in the cities who take care of our supplies. Once you have brought us a few valuables, they will let you know who they are. Where can I find trade goods here on the coast? I can give you some information, but not for free. What is in the wilderness of the coastal region? The area here is primarily controlled by bandits. The boss of the gang is called Ortega. He collects his booty in a cave somewhere in the north. If there is any loot to be had on the coast, then that's the place. What can I find in Cape Dunn? That fat alchemist in Cape Dunn has a chest where he stores his stuff. The orcs pay him with the booty from their campaign. There ought to be some good stuff to be had there. Show me your goods. Uninteresting. I'm gonna take a break. You'd better go now. You're creeping around like a thief. Ah, a new man! What are you doing here? I'm taking care of our forces in Redduck. We keep training and trying to prepare as best we can for a battle with the orcs. The closed-off area over there is our training arena. You fight against each other in your arena? That's the best training there is. Unfortunately, the orcs agree completely. They have an arena of their own in almost every city. They value a fighter who wins arena battles very highly. How exactly does the arena work? You challenge someone to fight and meet him in the arena. As soon as you enter the arena, it starts. Is that all? Not quite. There are two rules. First, anyone who leaves the arena in the middle of a fight loses. Second, when one of the fighters is on the ground and doesn't get back up, the fight is over. If you kick someone who's down or kill your opponent, you will be called to account by everyone. I see. Show me how to fight. All right. I'll show you how to handle weapons if you make yourself useful for our camp. What should I do for you? Our smithy has been shut down for days, but the battles with the orcs haven't decreased. If you bring us five bundles of weapons, that would help our cause tremendously. Where can I find bundles of weapons? Where there are orcs, there are weapons. Mostly, they can't do anything with human weapons, so they collect those, pack them in bundles, and store them somewhere. I see. 
Would you teach me how to fight? You're new here, aren't you? Many refugees have joined us in Reddick lately, but your face isn't familiar. Are you in charge here? I'm the most experienced man here when it comes to fighting orcs. I guess that would make me something like a leader of this rebel camp. We drove the orcs out of Ardea. So we owe this to you. Well done. Our people will take care of things from now on. I have other tasks for you if you want to help us. How can I support you? There are many possibilities for furthering our cause. Just walk around here and ask the people in the camp. We need to prepare for the revolution in Cape Dunn. I need weapons. So do we. Unfortunately, there is one small problem with that. Our last smith died in combat. Since then, our smithy has been abandoned. If you know somebody who could take his place, send him to us. Explain this revolution thing to me. The cities of Mertana are ruled by orcs, but some of us rebels are lying low within the cities. When the time comes, the rebels will mobilize both slaves and free humans for the revolution. You must find these undercover rebels and follow their orders if you want to support us. Who is this undercover rebel in Cape Dunn? He's moving among the slaves in Cape Dunn so we won't be recognized. I hope they haven't found him out yet. I will not tell you who it is. I don't know you well enough for that. But if you can gain his trust, tell him that Javier sent you to support him. You're wearing a paladin's armor. I used to be a paladin before the orcs won the war for themselves. I fought for the king in the last battle for Vanguard, the capital. Now I'm just a refugee, just like everybody else here. Tell me more about the war. There isn't much to say about that, my friend. Once we paladins lost our magic and ran out of magic ore, we didn't stand a chance. We ended up being easy prey for the orcs. What do you know about Zardis? No more than everyone else does. He's in cahoots with the orcs, or so they say. If you want to find out more, try their shamans. The only problem is getting them to talk to a human in the first place. Stop! Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No. We're watching you. Hey, you look like you could take a beating or two. What about a little fight in the arena? You want to go up against me? <laughs> well, not really. You're among friends here. We humans must stick together against the orcs. I need some training. You look like you might be an equal opponent. Meet me in the arena. All right, so let's see what you've got. Oh, there's a fight. Come on, you could take him. You won the fight. Good job. You've got what it takes. If you need a comrade in arms to fight by your side, I'm your man. You want to fight at my side? You show a lot of promise. All you need is a little more experience. I will go wherever you go and fight whoever you fight. Once you no longer need me, just send me back.
If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far into this cave system. What's wrong with these caves? We haven't completely explored them yet. There's supposed to be another exit somewhere to the east. Unfortunately, the eastern caves are teeming with beasts. Is this a former mine by any chance? It's possible. But if that is the case, then nothing has been mined here for years. We found these caves the way they are now. We just had to clean them of some cave beasts. What's your job? I'm on guard duty. I'm watching the southern exit of Reddick. In my spare time, I train in the arena for the real thing. Would you fight me in the arena? Why not? A little more training can't hurt. I will eliminate the beasts from your eastern passage. That's insane, stranger. You should prepare if you want to have any chance at all. Show me your goods. Fight with me in the arena. All right, but don't forget that this is only a sparring match. We'll meet in the arena. Hey, folks, <laughs> it's a fight! Come with me. Let's get to it then. Well fought. You just knocked me off my feet. Here, have this healing potion. It'll help with your wounds. 